Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit, and then restart Steam, and then launch the game. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once, and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe files select properties and then go to the second tab now over here put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator so put a check over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again make a right click select properties and this time select windows 7 and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work again this time select put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 over here also you will find the game exe file make a right and then select properties and then do the same thing over here put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can try windows 8 over here if that does not work you can try windows 7 put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization apply ok make a double click launch the game now still not working in that case you can uncheck all these boxes so if this is not working you can uncheck all these boxes hit apply click on ok go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click select properties this time type in dash d3d11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work try dash dx12 and then launch the game still not working you can remove this if this is not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open and then type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now you can skip this step if you are able if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game you can try this step 
So if you are able to launch the game, you can increase the field of view to 60, 80 or 90. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. Switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So launch the game. Now go to settings and then go to graphics settings. Now over here, if this is set to full screen, uh, you can try window full screen or you can switch to window mode. And if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now go to graphics quality. Now if quality preset is set to high or epic, you can try high. You can go for medium. I will go for medium and then go to advanced. And if I will set the frame rate at 60, you can set it to maybe 120. So I will lock the FPS at 60 and then if the V-Sync is on, turn it off. Dynamic resolution, turn it off. HDR, turn it off. Now field of view, you can set it to 60, 80 or 90. I will set it to 80. And then direct X11, select it. And then, yeah, window mode. And now apply window settings, confirm. And then check the performance. Restart your game. You have to restart your game. So close the game and then restart the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. In my case, it's GeForce. Select your product type, then select your series. In my case, it's 30 series. Make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11 and then click on search. And then click on download. And then click on download once again. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom over here. Make sure that you select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and then it will do a clean installation. It will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation and then restart your computer. After this, you have to restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. And now click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, click on options. Select high performance. Now click on save. Again click on browse and then open this folder. Binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Now click on add. Again, once the game is added over here, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. And then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3, that is 49152, 49152, 491152. Now click on set over here, then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to create a backup of your save game files and then you can rename or delete the save game file. Now when you delete the save game file, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, you can delete the save game file. So you can open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder. And then open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items. And you should be able to see app data folder. Open app data. Now open the local folder. Now over here, you will see this game folder. Now create a backup of this folder first. So you can copy this folder and you can paste it somewhere. Once you have the backup, now you can rename this folder. Make a right click and then you can rename as make a right click and then click on rename you can rename it dot old whatever you want now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. You have to download x86 and x64. Download both the files and then run both the exe file. So click on it, run this exe file. And then if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So just ignore this error. Download x64. Again, run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. So it's telling me to restart my computer. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Also, if you have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. Dis um, close all the third party application and services also close overlay application first of all disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game and then select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn it off and then check now if you have any other overlay application running like discord you can turn it off you can close discord g force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the Overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any any kind of overclocking application, close the overclocking clocking application and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this. Type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So 
make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to external drive you can try reinstalling the game to c drive now if the game is already installed in c drive then try installing the game to another ssd so try installing the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel